Grand Duchy of Luxembourg Government Parliamentary Constitutional Monarchy Area 1,000 square miles Population 252,000 Military 400 men The historic region of Luxembourg was settled by Celtic tribes in the 2nd century. After the conquest of Julius Caesar during the Gay of the Quars, it was incorporated into the Roman province of Germania Inferior. Upon the invasion of the Franks from the east during the migration period, the region became part of Francia and the Charlemagne Empire. In 843, Luxembourg became part of Middle Francia, then Lothrania two decades later, and finally a part of Upper Lorraine in 959. The ruined, supposedly Roman fortification was first mentioned in 963, when Count Siegfried acquired it from an abbot in Trier. Siegfried built a new castle on the site of the Roman ruins, on a rock later called Boxfels. The castle dominated a stretch of the old Roman road, linking the cities of Reims, Ireland, and Trier that provided great prospects for trade and taxation. During the following years, a small town and market grew around the new castle. The settlement soon received additional protection by the construction of a partial wall and moat. In addition to the small town near the Boxfels and the Roman road, a further settlement was established in the, in the Alzette Valley. The town of Luxembourg became the center of a state of strategic value in the Low Countries. Its fortifications were steadily enlarged and it strengthened over the years, which made it one of the strongest fortresses in Europe. Through its defenses, it became known as the Gibraltar of the North. Henry VI was crowned Holy Roman Emperor in 1312, becoming the first of three emperors provided by Luxembourg. Luxembourg remained an independent county of the Holy Roman Empire until 1354, when Emperor Charles IV elevated the nation's status to duchy for his brother, with additional acquisitions of various districts and small vassals around the old Luxembourg land. In 1444, the duchy was sold to the Duke Burungi, who had acquired a large amount of the lowlands years previous. For nearly four centuries, Luxembourg was under control of numerous states, including Spain, Austria, under the possession of the Netherlands. The country was occupied during the French Revolution and was established as the Grand Duchy in 1815, under a personal union with the newly formed Netherlands. After Belgium gains independence from the Netherlands in 1830, Luxembourg was partitioned in 1839 between the two. The larger western portion of the duchy went to Belgium, which left the Grand Duchy comprising only a small eastern section. Luxembourg joined the Selvaren, a German custom union, in 1842. That caused the economy of the Grand Duchy and the neighboring German territories to become strongly interlaced. The boom of the iron industry was made possible by both heavy German capital and German workforce, which made up more than half of the foreigners living in Luxembourg. On the eve of the Great War, the duchy was already within the German Empire's economic range. Luxembourg was occupied on the morning of August the 2nd, as it was essential for the German army to secure the railway traffic knot before the actual start of the war, so that it could be used as a deployment area against the French. The German occupation did not include a takeover of the administration, and the German authorities did not interfere directly in the internal affairs of the country, nor did they interfere with the functioning of the institutions or the use of languages. The administrative organization of Luxembourg remained intact. The German presence remained fairly light and included about 5,000 German soldiers who were stationed permanently in Luxembourg. As the war dragged on, the biggest and hardest felt problem for the people was that of food. Luxembourg was an importer of food before the war, and the occupation of not only German soldiers, but also of some refugees, was a massive burden on the food situation. While few outright died of starvation due to this, it heavily weakened many and caused a rise in diseases like influenza. This ration shortage reignited class struggle as all classes in the society were heavily affected by this. The farmers in the northern section of the country were normally blamed for the rising food prices, while the merchants and suppliers made a heavy sum of money for their goods. The government had pushed through a form of what would be referred to as dictatorial powers to attempt to stabilize the economy in mid-1915. Dissatisfaction in the industrial and urban areas led to the first workers' union to be formed in mid-1916. This union demanded more pay and food security from the employers and organized an outright strike in early 1917. 
German troops suppressed the strike without bloodshed, but due to the lack of unity within the Union, diplomatic matters for an increase failed as well. Many of the Allied powers criticized the conduct of the Luxembourgian government and had plans to put an end to the country's independence. Following Germany's defeat, the greatest threat to Luxembourg sovereignty came from Belgium, as they claimed to see the nation as lost heartland separated during the independence in 1830. Despite numerous efforts during the war, the Belgian government failed to accomplish this goal. This was partly due to American President Woodrow Wilson's policy, which called for political self-determination even for small nations. They did accomplish to have Luxembourg join Customs Union in 1921, but outright annexation was pretty much dropped at that point. 